folks. This is Mrs. Rambler. And Noble Rambler. And we're going to craft, craft the world, world together. together. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> should, we, should we not do that again? That's uh, one time's enough. Okay. Anyway, howdy. And let's figure out what we're here for. We were kind of talking about pets before we got started. This one down here we now know as Neri. And this one up here we know as Fido. And we noticed that Fido, who isn't going to walk away from those apples, has three spikes on top. And this one has five. So there's our difference there. He, Neri, is kind of, what would you say, purplish or... Yeah. Something like that. Dark lavender. Lavender. Whereas this one is more of a gray tone. So he needs a name. He needs a name. I think we're going to skip the idea of floater. That was a one-time thing, and whichever one that was hasn't done it since. So that's not a true characteristic. So leave in your thoughts in the comments if you've got anything real cute and appropriate. Something that, uh, that fits. I mean, he just looks awfully regal and, and wise. But let's see what they do in battle over here this time, and if that uh, gives them a, a true nickname. Anyway, what um, what is the plan today? I I tried plugging in a second mouse, and it didn't work. The game, the computer didn't want anything to do with it. So the idea that that uh, that I can be playing the game, Mrs. Rambler can go over there and point like she's doing right now at something to get my attention isn't going to work. So you'll just have to speak up. Let's fill the tables. Fill the tables. Okay. You want to try to do it from there or you want me to? I'll do it. Okay. But you got to turn it on. Oh, and but you can't hit the control to get to it. So that's why there's certain things that you just can't do from that side over there. You mean the pause button? No, the to oh, fill the table. the control. you got to lean across and get a hold of that thing. Oh, okay. So go for it. More of that. We need to. Oh, we have two more tables over there too. Though we could um, Spread out. put drinks over there. And there's one more table on the left side. So what do we drinks. actually? Over by the stove, we could put the drinks that are coming in the future. Oh, you only let go of the control now, huh? Oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Would you like to sit here? Uh, we can move over a little, please. Okay. There. There you go. Okay. Come on in. Need some more of these. <laughs> those. You see, she spends a couple hours every night just playing this thing and having a blast with it. I get to play for 30 to 40 minutes a day we if I'm lucky. Right. Okay, maybe some of these. Okay. So speaking of not being able to do those, you give, me, give, me my, give me my mouse back. I'm going to hit over here and try to work on this today. We, I want imps. I can't get there until I get advanced cooking done. I can't get into flour until I get the mill made. I can't make the mill till I get the workshop made. Can't do that till we've done all this. So this has got to get done. The skull shield. Oh, we've got to do that. Where is he? Right there. Bones. Hey, there's finally a use for the bones. What do we got here? Lumber. Need more lumber. And nails. So that'll give us three. And let's make a bunch of lumber for, for later. Just click a whole bunch of times. So we've got the skull shield. What else? The wall skin rug. Let's go for that one. And that's leather. So a couple of leathers. We're going to run out of nails. And these are needles. Oh, I clicked. Needles. Needles are used when working with fabric. But they come from... Not really addressed that yet. I know I've seen one down in... not here. There's another one. Down in here. Right there. That guy. Right next to the spider. Yeah, what was his name? He is Bestiary. I call him Nico. You call him... <laughs> That's the name of our cat. <laughs> he looks like our cat. Yeah, our cat also looks like uh, Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Mm -hmm. well, this is a cave spirit. A little dangerous. Particles of darkness disturbed by the dwarves wait for them in the darkness caves, in the darkest caves and mines. Don't let them flee deeper into the darkness and recover their health. Oh, I didn't know they'd do that. 
Ah. So when you take him out, he leaves quills craft. Uh, right there. Needles. Okay. But I was working on that one. So let's try that again. You go there, you go there, and a couple of you. That makes a, I want to say a bear skin rug, but it's just a animal skin rug. A couple of those. Eh, we'll do like four of those. Let's get a little deeper into this now. Now, Stucco, you're saying that you've you've done the whole inside of your... Yeah, that, but down below I did it all in stucco walls. And there's three choices. You know how you can click and change the view? So you get three choices. Oh, okay. Of, of color or of, what? Um, two or of texture. Texture and okay. one slightly different a greenish color. Okay. I have not played with stucco before. Kind of brightens up the room. Clay? We made a bunch of clay last time. So there's 15 of those and I finished that one. So we'll have to put that out somewhere see what it looks like. Tech tree got us done with here. Finally, the workshop. And we need an iron pick. And I think I just gave our, our newest member our last iron pick. <laughs> so let's make an iron pick. What was that noise? You just hear a noise? Or is that outside my, my studio door? I heard a like a like a bull whip whipping through the air. Oh. I thought it was a dog. I guess I'm hearing things. Had a, I saw a t-shirt once long ago. It says, I hear voices and they don't like you. <laughs> Never forgotten that one. Anyway, we've got to pick right there. Let's do, make a couple of those and we've got to wait for them to be made. So let's just get them making. Where is everybody? Got a few out there and a few out there. Let's see what's happening around here. We've got a portal. We've got water being scooped. And we had something to pick up on this side, and he, ah, and he's drowning, trying his best to get out of there, because dwarves don't, don't swim that well. Yeah, this is something that I wanted, well, ah, that's why, right there. If you have them get water from here, the water flips out and kind of lands over here. If you have it, you know, long shallow, then they can get to it real easy. This drops down pretty quickly. But I can't build in here. I could extend out and up. That would give us a shallow. Oh, you can see they're sometimes not. Uh, they're scaffolds help them climb scaffolds. down. Scaffolds. You and your scaffolds. They, they work, huh? Mm -hmm. There. Are we? Are we a little bit? Okay. We dropped the water level. That killed the uh, the symbol, and they're done. Now we're just going to bring all this water in. So while we're at it, then can I? I can't click. I can fish. Okay and a scaffold. Where'd it go? Right there. And speaking of scaffolds, we either need to make a whole bunch or we need to go collect some. Because we got a whole pile of them buried down into there. So I'd say we need to make a bunch more. Scaffold is there. There? No. There. Second page. That one. Only 13. Oh, that's because of the planks. Now we'll make the 13. And we'll make more planks. Oh, they're still building the planks. Okay. Well, we'll make a few more. We're definitely going to use them. All right. So there's our oh scaffolds to be built. Okay. So iron picks. Is there any chance that got done? Craft. Um. Boy, where would the workshop be? That's this one. At the end? No. This one. The second one. Third one. I mean. Third one. There. Got a pick. Now we just need a large table. Large table. We've not done large tables yet. That must be new. That's different from the wooden table. So the large table will let you have much more food on it, right? Yeah, the third row of food. Ah, we need some large tables, but we need planks. Mm, you <laughs> used them all up. I used them all up. Okay, we need to just leave them alone for a while and let them work. Planks are being made over here, scaffolds over there. There's bricks queued up to be made over here, and he's going to make another pickaxe. Kind of nice to see what they're up to. We'll, have to. well, we can't zoom in any closer than this, unfortunately. He's holding a brain on his backpack. He's got a brain on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll, we'll just leave that one alone. Um, and we're always going to need more wood, unfortunately. Well, we have 300. Okay, I'll leave them alone for a while. So, while they're doing all of that, what's the next we plan? Well, we don't need a chicken. We need yeah. a sheep. So, just put in a kill order. Sorry. 
you came over to get that. Oh, I thought he was going to then drop it all and go, hi -ya! and then attack yeah, him. Yeah, it's surprising. So the other side. Ah, ah, ah. Talk about timing. Woohoo! Wow. Catch. Kill. <laughs> and you too. All right, so attack's coming in in 11 minutes. Let's not miss this one. Be surprised. We've got traps out. I've got a cage for whoever managed to get through those traps. And... Oh, the pig just hit a trap. Oh. That's why. Does it need a new trap? It needs a new trap, or do you want a cage? Well, I don't know. What do you want? Uh, trap. You would. I have a cage right here. Okay. So, trap. <laughs> Oh, don't have any traps. Okay, cage. Okay, you're, you're just not going to get what you wish. Yup, we got a tree. Okay, strike out. Does a wooden, does a spike go in front of a tree? I don't think so. Does a wooden fence go in front of a tree? I don't use wooden fences. I don't either, so let's find out. Okay, let's build a trap with all that wood we don't have. Oh, it takes that kind of wood. Alright, you go there, and... You go there, there, there. You can put him in a cage too. I can put him in a cage. I think so. Ooh! Oh, we're gonna we're just gonna have lots of traps. I'm going trap crazy. In front of a trap. Of a Ooh! I can put them all over. Oh, traps are good. <laughs> I didn't know hey, that. Make more traps. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Yep. Traps are good. Now, if you already have a trap there, I'm guessing you can't build the cage there. I think it's kind of a one-way thing. I never tried it. That's fine. <clears throat> well, do where do we have right there? Can I build a cage there? I cannot, because it thinks the space is occupied. Mm -hmm. But the cave, the trap doesn't have that qualifier in it, it as to whether the space has been occupied. It will drop in anywhere. So you got to do cages or obstacles first, and then traps after. You might want to put out... Uh, Louder? You might want to put out um, the the blue thing. The blue thing. Oh, the, the portal. <laughs> I can't remember. How, how, how often do you play this game? <laughs> my, my mind was blank. <laughs> and they're going to insist on climbing up and down that. Interesting. Which means the enemy is going to climb up. Um, Am I wrong there? Well, they don't climb up the the side of the the rocks without. And that's help. true, but they do climb trees. Oh. Well. Cut the tree down. Cut the tree down. Okay. We'll do that kind of in prep for the attack coming in. Speaking of prep for the attack coming in, let's control E. Okay, everybody to go and get something to eat. It needs it. And actually they're doing it. When you tell them individually, quite often they'll walk over, stare at it, and then leave. So give them, it's like only one can eat from a table at a time, and if that table's occupied, it cancels their order. So I was surprised how many came and did that. Then let's control R for rest. Oh, we're after this guy. For rest and whoever's got I'm assuming one heart or less we'll go and do that let's see who goes up there there's two hearts I would imagine you're not going to rest you're just walking by no so I guess it's two hearts or less they're gonna go rest maybe that's why they're showing their hearts and not the others yeah select dwarf there's three hearts you are well, that was really interesting. Both of my monitors went black and then came back on and the game went away and I could not tab back into it no matter what I did. Ended up having to shut the computer down and starting over. So, what were we saying? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, um... They were going to bed. They were going to bed, we, everybody ate, and you were just saying we need more food. So, let's put out... What is missing? Steaks? No. Salad. Salad. Because they know what's good for them. 
and that didn't work because I'm paused. Okay, pause is not my friend sometimes. Let's set all these out, and we've got seven minutes left till the attack comes in. And there we go. There's a uh, Fido getting all excited, hoping someone's going to toss him an apple. And the unnamed cat is purring, right? Somebody's purring. It's not me. <laughs> so, oh, we were decorating. It's dying again. No. Now, it just shot all the way to the bottom of the screen with heavy lag. There must be something going on with my computer. I don't know what it is. Let's see if we can get through this episode. Something kind of odd happened just before we started recording. Um, Craft the World on Steam was sitting on the screen, and I leaned over to touch the mouse and bumped the Enter and, and Plus key over on the very far right side of the keyboard, and all of a sudden a, a music player popped in with Civilization V music playing. It wasn't even on the screen. I've never played that before. I've never had that music player come up in my life. And just by hitting the enter, that came up. So something goofy's been going on in the background. So, yeah, let's see if we can just survive this episode. <laughs> so, what are you looking for? Because I'm, I'm not steering here. I know, you can't do two things at once. No, okay, so she's giving you something funny or interesting to, to, to view while I'm rambling. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm taking control again. Thank you. So our last day, five minutes left. What needs to be done? We've rested them, we've fed them. And we have spiked, we have, we have caged, we have gone after chickens. Um, what about tech tree? Tech tree and this. Let's have this taken out. Wooden, remove wooden cage. I want to put that post in there that I started to last time and didn't. Tech tree, that's not the tech tree, but this lets you put signs somewhere. Mm -hmm. So how does that work? How do I put a sign right there? I'm, I can, I'll can. i do that. Yeah, ah, then you and you can type it in. Type this it. is a cage. Okay, that's how you do it. Like sometimes you want to remember to go back down below, like there's gold over here. Ah, there's gold in them, thar mines. Anyway, tech tree. Where were we? We were basic decorating. Let's do a couple more minutes of this. A round of mirror. Done? Oh, what? Did you oh, I'm done? In? Yeah. It's green. I just clicked on next one. Okay, so we're going we're going here. That's right. Looking for the workshop, which is still waiting for a table, which we stopped because we had no planks. And now we have planks. Ah, that's where we were. So you can kind of scrap the last ten minutes and just pretend like we're there now. <laughs> Too bad you can't start the timer over. Um, we can do one, and one will be enough. Let's get back to there, page two, and page one. Let's put five. Okay, let's do this real quick. I want to make a bunch of these so I can make that post. Okay, page two. What am I looking for? Oh, okay. This takes this, so this we got to do first. And we don't have a table because it's not built yet. Okay. Okay. All right. What next? Um, While we harvest the wheat. And look at our farm. We collect those scaffolding you're not using. Collect scaffoldings. Good idea. There's a book. There's waiting. a book. There. Yeah, I do wish that the... Uh, the running two mice at a time was a thing. That would make this so much easier. Especially in game. That that would be even harder to do. Let's let them build. Yeah, Let's get a good. whole thing full of spider webs and then we'll go and take them out. Other scaffoldings were done up in here. No, there we go. We could send them sideways and grab that and that and then down a couple of rows like so. Now normally that won't light up. wonder why. Okay, you can only go so far. Normally, well, long ago when I used to play this a lot, I would have just a constant run of mine uh, shafts sideways. Everything just, you know, methodically 
gone through. But I would also spend, I don't know, 60, 70 hours on a map. It's kind of hard to do on a series and keep people's attention. So now, for the sake of this series, I'm just kind of spot working here and there rather than doing everything because there's only so much you can take as far as watching them pick at dirt. So, in the effort to keep it a little more entertaining, let's see, route to get into here, let's, what, a couple of these there, one there, right there. They can hop over that, that, get into here, and take off this way. And if I don't do that, but do these, we can catch this first. Wow. Take out that. Hmm. A lot of coal. Take out all of these. Yeah, there's a lot to do here. We're going to need more scaffoldings in. We've got, we've got two minutes. Let's set a portal in there. and Just enough where I can get the scaffolds in place. Let's see who's bored right now and, and uh, wants to come cut vines. Especially the kind of vines that bite you. Looks like they're all down in the center of them. They're all... Yeah. Well, someone just showed up right there. Oh, who put, is stuck. They don't on. like having a void. Sometimes, yeah. Interesting. Otherwise, everybody's down here. Oh, collecting. Collecting stuff. And we've got mortar now. Uh, mortar. <laughs> um, mana. Mana. You know, the, the blue thing there. So we'll let them uh, speed this process up. Next time, shall we dive into... Uh, into one of these. Well, just had to break away for a doorbell ringing there. This has been kind of a chopped up episode, I tell you. Something doesn't want us to record today. Um, just noticed this while I was staring at the screen. So we had run a tunnel through and these four sand just dropped. So you get, do have to kind of keep an eye on that or you'll trap dwarves in your, in your tunnels. Otherwise, I'm noticing a minute and a half. Anything else that we really need to accomplish before that happens? Now my phone's going off. Boy, this has been so distracting. <laughs> anyway, they're pretty much just standing around. Really? Is there nothing to go and pick up? I wonder why they do that. Any yeah. idea? Why they don't get the command to... They're all claiming they can't get there. Isn't that what that means? Yeah. They can't get over the mountain? Something. Why can they not get there? I know we, I never finished this. Uh, that's... But that's still not the answer. No. They're... Ladder goes here. I don't know how to get through to what? Move, move, move. Oh, there it is. Hey, you can go through into that. Where are they trying to get through to? I don't know that answer. Was it, did it have to do with the sand? No, I don't think so. No. Well, we'll spend the, the minute and a half of prep time just trying to figure out what it is they want us to not do. Anyway. So, battle coming in. 20 seconds left. Let's see what it's going to throw us. This is our level 12 now. This might be the, the first double. Big heavy rain. Thunder. Interesting coincidence. I was playing seven days to die and it now gives you a bunch of dry lightning and thunder before the attack hits. Okay, you're under attack. They just keep coming. But what was, oh that was this. Okay, you guys don't get injured down there, right? In fact, let's give you a trigger to start walking this direction. Now you're still playing with spiders. Here they come. So they're all doing that. Let's turn that off like that. And let's put a portal in over on this side. And trigger this one. These guys can have a ball on our defenses. Are they still coming out? They're still forming. That's quite a wave. They are still forming. Anything on this side? No, this side's calm. Have these guys figured out that we're here yet? They have not. Alright, so let's just dive in and take out those. Turn him off. I want to try to keep the last one. 
but nobody is responding. Okay, so take him out and not him. And let's just take a few of these at a time. Otherwise, we're all here. We're starting to go up. Ooh, hello. You gonna make it over the top? You're not. Alright. And wow. Here's where everybody is. This could go so bad. So far we're okay. Alright, up here is okay, yeah. And now they've noticed us, so equip. I'll <laughs> stop the mid mid throw there. How are we doing health wise? Ah, a couple of them. Right there. So we've got use one of these. Soon we'll be able to make our own potions. That'll be nice. Let's use one of those. And that's it. Alright. Have fun, guys. Take him. And these guys especially. Get rid of those archers. You. Don't just sit here and have a little conversation. Come on, get up there. Wow. We've almost wiped this wave out. Where did big guy go? Well, there's his eyeball. Okay, so I guess we took him out already. Uh, equip. Anybody else in trouble? You are, but we're getting real close to finishing this. This one a lot easier than I expected. Maybe they'll dance. Maybe they'll dance. <laughs> That's what he thought of their dance. Okay, somebody take this guy out. Alright. Is that really it? There it is. Look at that. Four. Oh, four and a half jumps. Okay. Got a gold coin there. Got a brain over there. Yeah, we did pretty good. And we've got him sitting there. And that's it. And a chicken. Uh, we'll just just make feathers out of them. Otherwise, in the dark over here, we got a couple guys over there that need to be dealt with. One over there. And in the cage, let's see. The cage on this side is was there, right? Too dark to see it. I thought it was right over here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, you know, with all these interruptions, I have no idea what our timing is. So, a little while longer and we'll call this one done. And when I'm editing, I'll try to unravel the mystery. But, um, I was mentioning Seven Days to Die, um right as this battle started. It's a, it's a game that I enjoy playing. It's a little bit gory to have on the channel. A little bit mature, a little bit too much blood, you know, exploding heads and things. So I don't have it on the Noble Rambler channel, but I do have a lot of fun playing it on my own. And I just got to thinking the other day about all the similarities. Our spikes are gone, but the, uh, they are gone. But the spikes that you put out in this game, you put out in that game to protect your walls and your walls over here to kind of slow them down and get this countdown that kind of represents the seven days before the big horde comes and they, they progressively get more and more difficult. You got a pretty substantial crafting tree in that one. A little different style but the uh, actually not the crafting tree so much as the crafting itself. So you'll find different ingredients in the out in the world and create something. It's a fun game. Vapa Gaming is doing it right now on his channel and I'm having a lot of fun watching him survive it <laughs> but i can't play that it's, it's it's first person yeah and i get uh motion sickness so you've got to get it if you get uh seasick actually you get a little bit of car sick if you read too yeah yeah so if you've got that against you then first person games are kind of tough but um so it's can you watch them as far as watching Vapa's videos or no, no not even watching well I washed the dishes while I was listening to it okay <laughs> but he uh, he's been uh, text me back and forth through Twitter and he's getting ready to record that 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 episode of the uh, the seventh night when the horde hits and the blood moon is there and thunder and lightning 
is crashing all around them and, and it, the, the sky is all red and it's really eerie so he's uh he's getting ready to do that but um and I'm, i've been having a lot of fun watching him but speaking of seven days to die the developer is giving given me a key to give away to my subscribers and i've been trying to figure out how to do that um before i started my channel i used to watch quill 18 and he would give away a lot of games and the way he would do it at least back then was he would write it into the description under his video and at the end he would say go into the description and you'll find a key there well that worked once or twice after that everybody would just go straight to the video description and, and read that first before they even turn this video on and they get the key and they never come back so that kind of didn't work so I've been trying to figure out how to do this and I think what I'm gonna do at least for this one and I'll try to come up with a different way each time is if you head over to my patreon page over at uh, patreon.com slash noble rambler you'll find that I've got several posts that I put in that are public posts you know patreon lets you choose who your posts go to you can post them just to people who pledge at a certain dollar amount per month which is what I'll do for uh, first episodes when a first episode comes up I just created it I'll show it to the patrons first and I'll post the link into a post that is triggered for for just those patreons or patrons so but certain posts I can mark as public and I've got quite a few public posts out there different uh, uh, things that I've that I've done in the background pictures of building the studio and that kind of thing that you can go over there and read and I'm gonna pick one of those public posts and edit the game key into it so that uh, it isn't just a quick little glance through the video description and it's all done. It'll give you a, it'll kind of a quest. In fact, maybe we'll call these the, the noble quests. That kind of that kind of works. And I'll, I'll send these out in different directions because I've got quite a few games to give away. And uh, we can have a lot of fun with this. In fact, maybe I'll send you one of these days out to Vapa's Patreon page or you know just, just different places. So when you do find the key, if Seven Days to Die is a game that you're interested in in the first place, you know, it's not for everyone, then um, you just copy it, go into your Steam account, and paste it in, oh, the very top of the screen, I think, I think one of the menu choices is games, and under that will be something about, like, paste in a, a key. I'm not sure how it's worded, I can't click on it right now, but you'll take that that set of like 15, 16 digits, you know, characters and paste it into there and it will give you the game. If it doesn't work, that means someone's already done it. So, but there'll be lots of other games to give away too. And if you do get it, then why don't you pop back into the comments here and, and just uh, leave me a note so I know who got it and, and uh, you know, that it has been received. But other than that, and, and no, it's not me playing, that's Mrs. Rambler, because I couldn't possibly do that and form a sentence at the same time. <laughs> um, I guess that's about it. You know, get that, that key out there. It'll be the first game that we've given away here at Noble Rambler, and first of many. Otherwise, what next? We're 40-some minutes into the next battle, so that means probably an episode of building up toward it, and the, and the next episode will be that battle. Um, the, let me have control here, the skill tree, or technology tree, it's going to have a lot of decorating stuff, and we'll get into more of this so we can get into the leather, uh, leather armor, advanced armor, and eventually we're going to see even more of it we'll into barrels and potted plants and and wardrobes and wall carpets and stuff like that. So we'll have to pick an episode to where we're just decorating the. Uh, what do we want to call this building? I need a name for it. Is this the estate, the manor? Is this the compound, the castle? What is? What do you call that? And does it advance and grow any further and grow out and get an, an, an east wing? You know, it's, we need some names, guys. So we need a we need a an owl cat and a lizard dog um, name. We need the name for generically what this is. Maybe even specifically. You know, the noble something, I don't know. So I'll let your guys' creativity uh, jump into this a little bit because I'm, I'm tapped. <laughs> you can probably make your workshop now. Workshop. Okay, well, let's pop that in real quick before we forget. It's craft 
Have we made it? We have not made it. Okay, let's do that. So we still have to actually make it. Meaning, yeah, it's not it's not going to form instantly for us. You get later into the game, and it makes you work for it. It doesn't just give it to you anymore. All right, craft one of. I I lied. It threw it right at me. There it is. Okay, you go on this floor, probably right there, and it's a big one too. I lied again. <laughs> I thought it was like three squares high. It was well, compared to the mill the mill's a little tiny, tiny thing. thing yeah that'll go right up here next to the stove i think huh well anyway we'll see this when we get back next time so this has been noble rambler and this is rambler and we'll catch you next time folks bye-bye